Engagement is a measurement of how well websites persuade people to do things, for example book a repair or pay their rent. Two considerations for helping maximise engagement are firstly content and then also design. Content is what tends to engage customers. These are things that are often challenging or shocking, funny and entertaining, or beneficial and inspiring. You should always try and use engaging images. For example, if you're a housing provider, don't simply show an image of a house on your website, make the picture compelling, for example, showing someone very happily living in that house. Use video or animation where you can, because video really does speak a thousand words and statistics show that people increasingly prefer to engage through video rather than text. Use user-generated content where you can, such as case studies, testimonials and customer forums. These provide what is called social proof and it can be very powerful. We are all reassured when we hear real customers testify to the quality of a service. Consider offering rewards or running competitions with prizes that will assist your organisation to achieve its objectives, particularly those that create savings as they will be self-funding. This is designed not only to encourage engagement, but to help to improve the services offered, including those that provide social return investment, such as gaining skills to add to your CV, expanding your knowledge, or helping you to meet new people. Try and create customer interaction where you can. For example, include like buttons and request scores for particular pages. This will help provide feedback as to what on your website is working. Use Google Analytics to analyse which pages on your website work. If you have pages that nobody ever visits or that nobody stays on for very long, then they may not be worth having, so consider getting rid of them or at the very least change them. If we now turn to design, here are some further points that you should consider. Always think mobile first. 2014 was the first year in which internet access via mobile device overtook PC and the migration continues. We at 3C recently updated our website for exactly this reason. Keep the layout simple, make navigation clear and always include a search bar. Search bars are heavily used and they help people to navigate the site. The font is also really important and it sends a message about you and your organisation. This message can be that you can trust us or that we're fun. Colours also matter. Use soft pastel shades unless you want to shock. For example, bright red and yellow are considered shock colours and need to be used very carefully. As already mentioned, video is becoming increasingly important and you need to make sure that your design is capable of handling video. Where you can, include calls to action. As they say, if you don't ask sometimes, you don't get. Lastly, don't worry if information is what they call below the fold. This is where you have to pay down to find something. So, there is an art to making a website appealing so that customers have the best possible experience and choose to come back and use it regularly. Many say that websites need to be reviewed at least every two years, and I would be inclined to agree. Such reviews don't need to be complete redesigns and are often to take advantage of advances in web technology and new methods of creating engagement and interaction. If they can improve in digital engagement with customers, they'll be swiftly self-financing. Improving this using web analytics is usually simple and easy, unlike many other initiatives where the results can be difficult to measure. In summary, the continual assessment of your online engagement with customers, along with regularly scheduled reviews as to how it can be further improved, must form a part of your digital strategy.